What's the matter, honey? Oh, you murmured. What? What? What's the matter? Oh, Zoo. If I keep talking to her, she just keeps talking. Oh. Can you move? <laughs> How are you so cute? And if I pretend to cry, she kind of starts freaking out. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm okay, honey. How cute is this little tail? Zuzu! What? Oh, honey. I don't know if you heard what she does. She does this thing, it's called a murmur, where they... I have never had another cat do it, where they meow, but they meow with their mouth closed. <laughs> so it's kind of going... Mm, mm. That's not the murmur, that's just a meow, but she did it at the very beginning of the video. Susu! It's the most talkative cat I've ever had in my life. Susu! <laughs> She's circling my legs. How cute is that? I'm so mean. I'm a mean mommy. What's the matter for me? What's the matter? Oh, you're so cute, my little honey pie. Are you my little Susu? Zoo. Oh, she just smacked. <laughs> See, this is the thing. This cat is crazy. She's very, very protective of me. Um, I don't know if you <laughs> She just smacked the other cat. Um... And so she does this all the time. Like, we actually um, have an older cat. I'm going to show you. The house is disgusting right now, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so this is Carmen, who is my 14-year-old cat who I've had for a very, very long time. Um, and so Carmen is very, like, a cranky older cat. So sometimes I pick her up and she growls. So if I pick her up and she growls, she's not really growling at me. She's just cranky. Um, she's not trying to hurt me or anything, but this one freaks out and she comes flying across the room like a hawk and will land on her back and start hissing and chasing her down like, don't you mess with my mama. Right, Zoo? And the thing is, Zoo is like half her size. She's this tiny, teeny cat. She's four years old, but she's basically the size of like a kitten. Um, and another time, a couple years ago, um, my family ordered a pizza and um, I was upstairs and they were downstairs and I was upstairs with her and she suddenly climbed up into the window and starts growling <laughs> and hissing and I looked out um, and it was the pizza man coming up to the steps and she did not like that so she was very, she's like a little dog. She always reminds me of that cat in the video that flies out and attacks the, um, the dog that's trying to attack the little boy because this is what she does um, at least with other cats. So I have to be very careful because if I'm trying to like give my older cat medicine or doing something that I know she's going to growl at me, I have to do it in the other room because otherwise um, this cat here will attack her um, because she thinks that um, the other cat's trying to hurt me. Zuzu? Hey, Zoo. Zuzu? Are you protective? Hey. What's the matter? <laughs> Susu, sorry about the bad angle. I just couldn't really get her from here.
Zuzu. <laughs> and the other thing she does, which I'll try to get on video, is she comes up to my mouth. She, like, climbs up onto my shoulder and she'll just sit on my shoulder. But then she'll sit, like, on my chest or attempt to sit on my chest. And she'll um, tap my um, lips with her with her paw like she'll just continue to keep reaching out and touching my lip she does it with her claws extended though I mean she's doing it a very loving sweet way but um I don't know she's just very it's a very romantic cat right Susie you love your mom anyway I've had lots of cats throughout the years and I've never had a cat quite like this like they'll be really affectionate with me but this one's like in love with me and would like put her life on the line for me right Zoo? Hey, Zoo. What? Zuzu. What? What do you see? Oh, Zoo. Did you hear that? That's the murmur. What? Another one. What? Oh, honey. Zoo. I have to make all these weird noises and <laughs> use these annoying voices because it elicits um, that kind of meow. Oh, Zoo. <gasps> honey.